and they're off. Dai's gift was the last one away. They have two miles, one furlong in front of them. And it's the first division, the book your 19th of October tote pool package handicap. Attention seekers along the inside. Hooker gate grammar three wide as they go into the first bend. Aviator pale blue jacket between horses. Riptide, who won this race two years ago, is just in behind the pace setters, followed by the dual first score exclusive contract. Dark jacket of new Tara Bella. Madam Lilybet, two shades of blue to the inside. Not a great deal of pace on. It's just a hack through the park through the first quarter of a mile. Tuscan Gold is held up. So to Halstatt and Dye's Gift. And a little tardy start is at the back end of the field but it would only be about eight lengths off the pace and it is the three-year-old maid in a hooker gate grammar just easy to back just before the off who makes it with aviator running close up green silks of attention seeker on the inside running rail but it's been pretty gentle in the early strides exclusive contract is to the wide outside for jacob butterfield new tara bella is uh, nicely in touch with the pace setters and right at the back of Tuscan Gold Halstatt and a die's gift but they've been hacking through the early part of this race and it is Hookergate Grammar and James Sullivan in front leads by no more than a length to Aviator attention seeker new Tara Bella and exclusive contract they're in a line for other places yellow and black jacket of Tuscan Gold in mid division Riptide on the inside running rail, purple silks of Halstatt, then Dye's gift, Madam Lilibet is weighted with. So that's the running order, right over on the far side of the track, and no serious change up front with the Keith Reevely train runner Hooker Gate Grammar in front today looking to break his duck he's had eight starts so far without joy hooker gate ram at the inside of aviator who's had a spell jumping exclusive contract there to the wide outside they're roughly at halfway now new tara bella continues to track the pace setters with attention seeker then tuscan gold riptide and halstatt dies gift and madam lily better the last two and they pass the mile marker right over on the far side with about eight lengths or so, first to last, and it is Hooker Gate Grammar who continues to lead from Aviator, Aviator and treble seeking Graham Lee to the outside, then attention seeking New Tara Bella, an exclusive contract. They're going into the turn, the top left hand corner of the race course now, being negotiated. Three quarters of a mile left to cover. The last two are the Catrick scorer Dye's Gift and Madam Lilybet, this dual course winner. So on the side of the track, just over five furlongs to go. Hooker Gate Grammar leads a tightly packed field. Aviator close up. Attention seeker new Tara Bella and exclusive contract. They're big buddies now. They've been sharing third place throughout. Halstatt and Tuscan Gold follow. Then Riptide and Dye's Gift and Madam Lilybeck just being shaken up at the back. But they're still very well grouped. And uh, they now hit the rising ground. Three and a half furlongs to go. Hooker Gate Grammar the inside of Aviator. Three wide in the spotted jacket is exclusive contract. Attention Seeker and New Tara Bella follows. And New Tara Bella has been pushed along. Tuscan Gold, big white face to the outside. No move from Riptide, no move from Halstatt. Dye's Gift has got a bit of work to do to pass every runner. Madam Lilybeck's driven along. Two furlongs left to go. Top of the straight. There's a new leader. And Aviator has been sent into the lead and quickly goes three lengths clear. Attention Seeker's giving chase. Then the long time pace at a hooker gate grammar. Halstatt is in the clear, followed by exclusive contract. They're inside the final furlong and it is Aviator, horse has been jumping, leads by about four lengths to Attention Seeker, been a grand day at the office for Graham Lee, it's a treble, Aviator goes on to win, Aviator win, tight places, Halstatt and Attention Seeker follow, and then Riptide. Three on the day for Graham Lee, Chris gave for Aviator a positive mention and given a ride, good ride in what turned out to be a tactical race that didn't suit the very one-paced hooker gate grammar, I think if I backed Riptide, I would have been hoping that they'd made more use of Riptide, to be honest. A habitual front runner over the course and distance held up in a steadily run race and has still rattled home to finish in about fourth place. Photo, I think, was called for second place. But uh, Aviator, well positioned. And the key point compared to Hookergate Grammar was that Aviator did have something like a turn of foot, Hookergate Grammar. Um, here's second. How stat? Third was Attention CK. Yeah, Hooker Gate Grammar, uh, a career over hurdles almost certainly awaits, I would have thought. Yeah, he's definitely short of gears, isn't he? Yeah. He's just, uh, 
he's a one-pace plodder, but he'll probably win some races in, in that sphere. Um, but when it comes to a, a change of pace, he's just very, very vulnerable. Um, the well-back dies gift was in a pretty bad position from the outset, having missed the break. They didn't go much for a gallop, and then he's forced to make ground wide around the turn here. It's a promising enough return on the back of a break from a tension seeker who's in the ideal spot, close up on the inside, but couldn't really match one. Aviator's a, a well-handicapped horse, and he's blown this race apart, really. Um, his hurdles form suggested that he could be well handicapped. His old flat form suggested that he could be, and Graham Lee had him in the perfect spot, really, in that he was close up to the pace in a, a steadily run race, and the horse that he was disputing it with was probably one who was never going to be served by a steadily run race. He